We've heard the term burnout probably over a thousand times in the last few years. Professional burnout can affect everyone. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on the healthcare field. Burnout can not only affect employees' physical and mental health, but also have a negative effect on patients. While you've heard the word and generally know what it means, the real question comes down to this. What does it look like and what can you do to help mitigate it? Hi everyone, I'm Maria from eTactics, and today I'm going to talk to you about three signs of burnout in a healthcare setting. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. Also, hit that alert bell icon so that when we post new helpful content, you get notified. According to the World Health Organization, burnout is a syndrome resulting from chronic workplace stress. It's characterized by three dimensions feelings of energy depletion or exhaustion, increased mental distance from one's job or feelings of negativity or cynicism related to one's job, and reduced professional efficacy. According to the American Psychological Association's 2021 Work and Wellbeing Survey, 79% of employees had experienced work-related stress in the month before the survey. Nearly three in five employees reported negative impacts of work-related stress in their everyday lives. Addressing this issue is important not only for the health and well-being of your employees, but also for your business. Reducing work-related stress will decrease employee turnover and stimulate productivity, ultimately leading to business growth. Here are some of the warning signs that someone might be suffering from burnout. Emotional exhaustion from feeling drained by work or feeling overwhelmed is a major indicator of someone who is suffering from burnout. One way to gauge this is by taking note of employee engagement. For instance, has the turnout for meetings or employee activities dropped? Have employees been demonstrating less friendly banter in the office and instead more cynicism? If you're wondering how to re-engage your team, Simply acknowledging recent difficulties and conducting an open discussion goes a long way. Let your staff know you care and in return, listen to ideas on how to break up mundane tasks and better streamline efficiency. Experiencing depersonalization or feeling mentally detached is another sign to look out for. It is not uncommon for an employee to distance themselves from their work through sarcasm or cynicism when feeling stressed. This can be especially detrimental in the healthcare field when patients are on the receiving end of this coping mechanism. Your staff may be, well, less than friendly towards patients, which ultimately leads to bad reviews and negative effects on your online reputation. In this case, patient satisfaction surveys are a helpful tool to identify where your staff may need more support. Finally, when employees feel burnt out, Completing routine tasks can take more time than necessary. Making sure staff feels a sense of professional efficacy or accomplishment can help save time and increase productivity. Looking into better ways to automate more tedious tasks can allow your staff to better focus on more strategic and fulfilling goals. Prevention is key. There are many tools available to help prevent and ease any early signs of burnout before it's too late. Working smarter and not harder by automating certain functions is a great place to start. To check out some examples of useful tools and software, please visit our website at etactics.com. If you'd like to learn more about professional burnout and prevention, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share, and subscribe. 